That was very good. My interview right now is with Taylor Burnett. It's Mama Knows Best. What's up? Hey, what's up, Jenna? Jenna? What is Mama's Knows Best? Mama Knows Best started off as Tay, which is me. And all my friends come to me because I have, I guess, the broadest shoulders for everyone to cry on. So okay. I always hear advice and they ask for advice about things. Not because I am... Um, experienced in certain categories with, you know, relationships or life advices, but I have a, I think that I have a good head on my shoulders, and I think logically, so I like to give logical advice to so people. So you're the sounding board then. Yeah, sort of, kind of. Okay. So, I mean, with relationships too, Mama Knows Best came because I have had lots of relationships, and I've seen the struggles and the ins and the outs, and I have tons of trials and tribulations that I can share with people. You know, but it's just my opinion mixed in with an advice. Okay. You know, so that's how Mama Knows Best started. Here, you say tons of experience like you an old woman. Uh, and uh, you really are not that old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not old. I'm, not old. I'm only 25. Right. How and, much experience can a 25-year-old have? Okay, I don't want to minimize that. Okay. I got you. I got you. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. What is a title do you like using? DJ, radio host, radio personality? What do you prefer and why? I like them all. Uh, when I'm on my show, I say, you know, what's up, what's up? This your girl, DJ Truth. I, I prefer myself on the radio as DJ, but if someone asks me what do I do at the radio station, I say I'm a radio personnel. Okay. You know, so I use all the terms Very depending good. on who I'm talking to. Nice, nice. When you designed your show, what did you see? What was the outline? My outline was helping. Like when I designed it, I love to help people. So I thought, first and foremost, I must design a show that gives help. And then I got to give something more than help with other people when they want the music. So besides having so much talking, I do R&B, old school. And when I moved to Fort Wayne originally, they was getting rid of all of the hip-hop stations, okay. the R&B, you know, the more urban music. So I thought, there's only a few left in Fort Wayne, so I want to contribute to bring it back. So I only play old-school R&B, hip-hop, rap, neon soul, you know, all that. So you actually have fireside chats while you play the music. Yes. Has your show evolved from the initial plan? Yes. At first, it started off with strictly relationship and life advice, and then it merged to more music with it. Mm -hmm. So now it's about everything. It's about political topics. It's about sports, um, different opinions about people. Whatever my guest decides to have a conversation about, it, my show is more of the guest now instead of, you know, someone sending me a letter or telling me an advice and I'm giving you know, advice back out. I kind of like that when you were doing that, too. You don't do that part anymore? I do do that, but it's more of a, a instead of, like, someone sending me a letter and I'm reading it to the audience yeah, and they're yeah, giving yeah. advice, they sit in with me and then okay. we talk about it and discuss it together. And so who is your target audience? Everybody. I don't want to exclude anything from anybody, so whoever wants to listen, and I'm very thankful whoever wants to listen. So anyone who needs an advice. What is the creative flavor of your show? What sets you apart? What sets me apart? I think that my honesty and I think my honesty sets me apart because mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to have to talk to someone that's giving me things based off of a book or something that they think should be. You know, when I said I think logically, I think logically with my heart. And, you know, brain comes too, but I think that giving somebody a true, authentic response is what sets me apart. You think people really want to hear that, the true response? I mean, sometimes you got to hear it, and right. if you don't want to hear it, you still got to. Right. Have you considered what emotion that you want to ignite in your listeners? I think throughout my show, emotions fly within the studio. So sometimes, I know it's, I normally edit it out, but normally we cry, and then we laugh, and and, but at the end of the day, I want my guests and my audience to feel inspired or motivated to want to be better. Okay. So I think that's probably what I'm shooting for. So I'm going to just step right on into this because you talked to me about um, just a second before we went on air about your brother who um, was very emotional when he's telling his story. Oh, and, yeah. and you stop him and edit him out. <laughs> <laughs> You can't edit what's real. Right. I, sh I shouldn't censor hey, there public you go. speaking. I shouldn't censor it. <laughs> but sometimes um, with him, I see my little brother in a light where he should be able to shine and grow. And I know some things that he says can hinder him. 
So, and I don't want to ever have to hinder my little brother by. Uh, I know it sounds awful. It does it's, because you're censoring him. I know, but oh wow, I haven't censored him in a while. But before, when I was nervous about my image on the radio, I censored a lot of things that we talked about because I thought that it wasn't the best fit for W E O T. Okay. Okay. Wow. If that makes sense. Yeah. Ha, that's pretty cool. This is a final question. What, what does community radio mean to you? Community radio means to me family, united, something just like unity is what community radio means to me. It's just like it's like a house party almost. This is how I Ooh, feel when I, I like come that. here. <laughs> like an old school house party. That's how I feel when I come into the studio. Very cool. And your final thought? Thank you so much, Jenna, for interviewing me. I'm really nervous, but... You're doing a good job. Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) And I'm I'm, I'm thankful to be here. This is DJ Truth, Mama Knows Best. Thank you. All right. Thanks.